Hello, gorgeous. My name is Dusty, and this is the Scorpio Priestess. If you would like a personal reading, you can do that by visiting ScorpioPriestess.com. If you would like to enter to win a one-hour FaceTime reading, just hit the link, hit the more button down below, and follow the link on over. I hope everyone is doing well and vibing high. We are going to do a you versus them. Overall energy between the two of you. Happy outcome, clarity, and truth coming together, but in it for money, union of convenience, superficial love, and transactional love. Oh boy. Some of you are in a relationship for convenience. There will be a happy outcome. There is a lot of clarity coming. Some of you are involved with a person who is staying with a third party out of convenience because of money, because of, of status, stability, what have you. It looks to me like there are some things coming to light here. <clears throat> oh, yeah. You could get communication. Oh, boy. From somebody very toxic. This is heavy in the energy today. I just did my TikTok reads for all Zodiac signs, and this is very heavy. But there is some situation blowing up. There is a partnership about to end. There's been cheating. There's been lies, and somebody is walking away. It's going to go very fast. You could hear this person and a third party break up. You could hear that they've had some beat down, drag out fight. This could be a Capricorn. You could have a lot of Capricorn in your energy. The overall energy being coming to light and um, happy outcome, it looks like this person's been waiting, kind of not moving, not doing much, just staying stagnant. It's slowed down the progression of this connection. This person gets in relationships for transactional reasons, official reasons, things coming to light about the and they are involved with or about them and their actions. Some of you, unfortunately, may be with somebody right now that you end up having to walk away from because there's something coming to light. There's something you may find out about an addiction, bad behavior, lies, shadow self energy. Tell me about the collective's energy, please. Moving on over to your energy, how is the collective feeling right now? <clears throat> Guided lessons, learning stage, you've been doing shadow work. Congratulations. Getting your confidence back in your divine feminine energy to my divine feminine. Yes, boss, bitch, status. You are embodying this beautiful divine feminine energy. I actively work on staying in my divine feminine energy because with owning my own business and, and the kind of lifestyle I have, I often have to get in my masculine energy. So every opportunity I can, I sit in my divine feminine energy. And what that looks like is you nourish your intuition, you nurture yourself, you take good care of your physical being. You make everything beautiful around you. And most of all, you do not chase, you attract. You attract in opportunities. You do not chase after anything or anyone. It looks like there's, you feel like there's still hope between you and this person, but you've been working on building an empire or you've been working on, um, getting your money up, you're in your bag, you could have just started some kind of business, there could be a lot of good opportunities coming into you right now, and you don't have to be a female to embody a divine feminine energy. A lot of masculine energies get very good at embodying both, and that is growth. That, that means you are comfortable with yourself, your sexuality, and congratulations. You are now attracting, and you are not chasing this person around. You're not calling, texting, asking to see them. You are just kind of sitting back and allowing. You're allowing life to happen around you. Tell me about these guided lessons. Um, you've been doing the work of what this soul connection was all about. I cannot tell you how happy I am to see this. Balancing yourself out here. There's new proposals coming in um, for career opportunities for you. If it hasn't started, it will somewhere around the holiday season. You could be a Sagittarius. You do seem to feel confused. One day you are, you feel there's still hope between the two of you. 
the next day this person is ghosting or falling off or up to no good. So you are officially in your Queen of Swords energy where you are not playing with a motherfucker. Yes, I will talk to you. Yes, I will hear you out. But try it. Say it. Try it. Say one bad thing and I'm going to let you know about yourself. You are no longer accepting breadcrumbs and you are standing in your power. Congratulations. Moving on over to the person oh, in your mind here. How are they feeling, please? Give me three, Spirit. I want three for them. Give me three for them, please. Mm, this person's very stubborn, um, but they are having a, epiphanies. There are some answered questions, some questions they've been having. They could have uh, went on some vacation, traveled, they feel like this has been a short break between the two of you. They are going through a rebirth as well. They're, they're trying to be more enlightened. Um, they are escaping a bad situation. They are protected here in some way. They're being protected. They feel like they've dodged a bullet recently or they will this is what i'm saying there's something this person's going to find out about a third party or karmic they are going to escape a bad situation what do they have to say here to the collective this morning what do they have to say please i feel you are my equal you make me want to be a better person not just for you, but also myself. You challenge me to grow. This person could have originally chose a third party because they were Casanova. They were in this energy of not wanting anything serious. They wanted someone that was easy. And easy is what they got. This third party was easy in every way. Easy with their sexual energy. Easy never challenged them because they truly didn't love and care for them. So they just allowed them to run around out here acting in bad behavior. And it was one of the reasons why this person chose to go the route they did. But again, they're acquiring knowledge, guys. I'm telling you, they're finding something out here. I don't understand our connection in the way I feel when I'm with you. I'm not ready for whatever this is. I can't handle this right now. I'd rather not think about it. Our connection was very intense and confusing. But I'm trying to understand our undeniable bond. You were brought to me to teach me things, to bring awareness of my own existence. You see, they have something here. They've been enlightened. Um, they were running. They were not ready. They feared this deep emotional bond. They were very emotionally avoidant and detached. You felt, it felt so intense when you were with, when they were with you, um, they ran from it. They feel deeply connected to you. They're starting to understand this. They understand this deep cosmic connection you have. They have the willingness to be open and they're understanding the connection more. And they seem to be leaving a bad situation. They're escaping a bad situation here. They've been super selfish overly burdened and stressed staying with this third party for all the wrong reasons there's something they're finding out they could have had a, a third party that was milking them for everything they had or vice versa this person could have milked a third party constantly had their hand out getting their bills paid asking for things something like this um, what are they planning on doing? Do What are they going to do towards the collective, please? Oh boy, they're coming out of this place, guys. They have some honest new beginning they want. They're going to be honest with you. Coming in very loving, escaping this bad mindset, this prison they've, they've been in. They're finally ready to talk. They're finally ready to be open and vulnerable with you. And some of you, this has been a really long time. It's been years, six, seven years over. Some of you, it's been over seven years. Um, somebody here could be 46, 36. They seem to be finally coming out of this place. You know, they're going through big 
completions here in their life. They're, they've been hanging on to you. Um, they're trying to get their self together, their material world together. But hangman in reverse, this could be a Pisces. They're finally moving out of hangman, six of cups, bottom of the deck. They feel a lot of nostalgia and they want to come back. They're starting to understand this connection more. This could be a fixed sign. You could be a Scorpio, a Taurus, a Leo, or an Aquarius. Um, let's just say by Capricorn season, so somewhere around the holidays, as I said, this person seems to be... Um, coming back around or they're going to be you're going to notice a shift in their energy they're dodging some bullet here with a karmic and um, they have a lot to say a lot to say and it's actually honest it's it, it's it's the first time i feel this person um has ever felt like they want to be fully open and vulnerable and honest with anyone including you they've always hid even though you could feel them on a soul level they've been hiding behind a mask i hope everybody has the most beautiful and blessed day love and light